Yeah, I'm not in a good mood. I apologize for taking it out on you. Had some, uh, been a, a bad month for me. Thanks. Thanks. Uh, and since I have your ear, and I gotta get this off my chest, I have a microphone. I may as well uh, tell you what happened from the top. Um, so my wife was watching CNN one day, and there was a report. That, take my jacket a little warm. There was a report that uh, guys my age drop dead all the time because they don't go to the doctor because they're too proud. So my wife decides I'm going to probably be one of these guys, so she makes an appointment for me to go see a doctor for a physical, right? Physical. With a doctor. Something I've never really done before. So I get to the doctor's office. I get there for the appointment. Dr. Stein, Dr. Sally Stein, she's a New York lawyer. And, uh, you know, you ever got to go for a physical? First thing you do is they give you that gown. You know, you walk into the examination room, you know, the gown, and, you know, they're telling you to get undressed, and, you know, put the gown on. So, yeah, I start to do it. I start to put the gown on, and she's like, no, 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 no. you got to put it on with the uh, opening of the back. No, no, the opening is not in the back, the opening is in the front, all right? I'm a guy, I'm not a girl. Women have an opening in the back, not men. As you can see here, this is how my buttons work, right? So she starts giving me a hard time. This is the assistant, right? So she tells me I have to wear it with the opening in the back. That's the rule, right? So, you know, here's what I'm doing, right? So now I'm busy, you know, putting the gown on backwards. Embarrassed, you know? So now she says I'm ready to go, but she says I have to tie it before the doctor gets it. So, you know, you got to try and tie it in the back, which is an impossibility. I'm not very flexible, so I'm doing the best I can. I think I double knotted it, right? So I'm sitting there in the bed chair, whatever, the examination table, waiting for the doctor. The doctor comes in. Hi, Dr. Stein. So I'm checking my eyes, my nose, my ears, so everything's all right. So Dr. Stein, I don't understand something. You have me in this outfit right now, and you're checking my face. You could have done this in my street clothes. She says, no, 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 no. I'm going to do some other things. So sure enough, starts heading down there. I said, whoa, what are you doing? She says, I'm checking to see, uh, you know, if you have any lumps. So yeah, I have two lumps, all right? I'm down there all the time, I know. Don't worry about you. Well, how do you know you don't have more? I said, ah, you don't have more. And then this is like, this is my, I'm down here four or five times a day. This is the Yankee Stadium for me. This is my home field, man. What are you talking about, Dr. Stein? Ridiculous. Nag it off. So anyway, anyway, Dr. Stein tells me I'm fine, but she wants me to go for some additional lab work because I'm in my mid-40s, make sure I don't have any cholesterol issues. And she said, maybe uh, get a sonogram and a chest x-ray, just to make sure everything's copacetic. So I said, a sonogram, I said, wait a second, I've had children before, I know what that's, that's just seeing babies, and, 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 and I, I don't, I'm not having a baby, I'm a little overweight, how dare you, how dare you, Dr. Stein, it's all but anyway, uh, she said, no, 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 it's to check your liver, and, you know, the kidneys, and so forth, so, anyway, I, uh, you know, I'm getting ready to leave, I'm trying to get the, you know, the gown off, and of course, it's double knots, you know, so I can't get the goddamn gown off, you know, you know, and the nurse is coming, and what's the problem, and I said, I can't get the gown that you made me put on, right, so we're, we're fighting, and she's trying to yank the thing off of me, and people are the, you know, waiting room, like, is there a heart attack? No, no, we can't get the gown off. Oh, yeah, that's a problem. That's the same problem. They get a scissor, they get the goddamn gown off, right? The gown's off. Well, anyway. So next thing, I gotta go for these other apartments. Like, by the way, you know, for blood work. Do you, you have to get blood work? You have to get blood work? Yeah. They get them fast for 12 hours? Yeah. What the fuck was that? I've never had to do anything for 12 hours and not do something for 12 hours. And it's one thing I definitely do is eat and drink and fart and have sex and jerk off. Those are definitely in a 12 hour period, so this was a very difficult time for me. So I get the blood work, I get the exam, then we get a midsection, so forth. So they tell me a the doctor called me, there's a problem. I don't hear from her, no problem. A week later, my cell phone rings. Oh, hi, this is Dr. Stein, I've got a problem with your uh, blood work. What's the problem? Well, your liver enzymes are high. My liver enzymes? What the fuck does that mean? Well, it could mean uh, hepatitis C. Like hepatitis C, how the fuck would I catch that? She's like, well, needles. I'm like, needles? Like heroin, I don't do that. He's like, well, I know if you have tattoos, you can get hepatitis C from tattoos. And I buy that HIV. So now my heart's going, no, 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 like that, right? You know, because, uh, you know, when you're hearing some really horrible diseases, but she's not done. She says, and uh, they felt some type of spot on your kidney. Well, what's that? She says, well, worst case, it's a tumor. <laughs> so I said, you're telling me I have hepatitis C, HIV, and cancer? Is that what you're telling me, Dr. Stein? Right? So again, now I gotta go to this special, I gotta go to that special, and I'm taking more time off from work, and my boss is docking me vacation days, right? Because of these emergencies. And I can't tell my wife, right? I can't tell, remember those tattoos that you told me not to get? Well, I got them, and now I got AIDS from it, and I can't believe this is happening. Right? And, and, you know, so, so I get all the tests done, I said, what's the deal? They said, well, we're gonna need seven to ten days. Seven to ten days to tell you uh, what the results are. Well, how are you gonna find out? How am I gonna find out? You'll call me. They, they said, they'll call me. You call me? You call me, right? So, you know what it's like when you're waiting for the doctor to call for a test result? You ever had that situation? Like, you know, Monday, Tuesday, and then a phone rings, you jump up, you want to be the doctor, but you don't want to be the doctor because you're afraid you're going to pick up the phone to be the doctor. Uh, I got some bad news for you. 
you, fuck you, you're dead. Right? You know, so, so Wednesday comes along and you're a nervous wreck. You know, my son walks over to me like, hi, Dad, you gonna see my recital this weekend? I'm like, your recital? You're not even talented. What's the matter with you, kid? Of course I'm not going to your recital. Pick it up, the poor kid. Poor kid, man. Gives me the finger, runs upstairs, slams the door. His robe. Say, hey, man. Hey, my kids got anger issues. And I don't know where he gets it from. I really don't. Yeah, my mother calls in Florida. Hi, honey, coming down to Florida to visit us. Florida? I know some people are gonna die. I'm not going to Florida now. What are you crazy, Mom? Forget it. And Thursday, Friday comes on. My buddy calls me up. Friday morning. Hey, I got tickets to the game, man, this week in front row, Yankee Stadium. Can't go. Don't you know I'm dying? I can't go to a ball game. Not gonna happen. Five o'clock, the phone rings. I missed the call, and it was the doctor! It was the doctor, so I called back. I was Dr. Stein, she called me, I, I gotta find out what's happening with these testicles. Well, she's left for the weekend. Well, I need to talk to her, it's an emergency. Well, you have to call back Monday. Monday, Monday, right? So then you got Saturday comes along, right? And, and, and you're completely freaking out about these blood. These test results are probably the end of you. Yeah, this Sunday, Sunday, you know, you wake up, all right, look, I gotta calm down, I gotta get out of the house, I gotta get out of the house, I gotta calm down, I gotta calm down. So you're walking around, you're in the park, and you see these people, and they're laughing, and they're smiling, and having this great life that you used to have, but you don't have it anymore, because you're not gonna be alive soon. <laughs> Monday. 9 o'clock, you call the doctor's office, she's not in. 9.30, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, and she's with another patient, another. where's Dr. Stein? I need to talk to Dr. Stein, I can get on the phone! Dr. Stein gets on the phone. You know what? And she doesn't remember who you are. She doesn't know why you're calling me. She can't understand why you're so upset. This is unbelievable. You've been thinking about her nonstop for weeks now, and she wasn't even, you weren't even on her radar, right? So you tell her well, why you're calling. I'm calling about the cancer, I'm calling about the HIV, I'm calling about the hepatitis C. It's like a flip. Flip, she's looking through her records. Oh, well, yeah, the hepatitis C, the HIV, no, no, that's negative, that's fine, that's fine. What about the cancer? What about the cancer? <laughs> flip, flip. Oh, no, that was nothing, that was a cyst. Live your life, everything's fine, everything's fine. <sighs> Dr. Stein, I was living my life. I was living a happy life, but now my wife hates me, wants to leave me, my son won't talk to me, 